the AI world just experienced another seismic week. We're witnessing moves that could fundamentally alter how we build, deploy, and interact with artificial intelligence. From Grok breaking down paywalls to Vercel promising entire apps from single prompts, this week delivered industry reshaping announcements that will impact millions of users and developers worldwide. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. I'm here with the seven biggest stories that dominated this week, and more importantly, what they mean for your future with AI. Here's what we're covering. Grok 4 is now completely free for all users worldwide, demolishing the premium AI barrier. Versal just launched v0.app, promising to build entire applications from a single text prompt. Google released Gemma 3270M for lightning-fast on-device AI. Claude Sonnet 4 expanded to an unprecedented 1 million token context window. OpenAI introduced three new GPT-5 modes that let you control speed versus reasoning depth. Plus, behind-the-scenes drama as the Musk-Altman feud goes public and Microsoft raids Meta's top AI talent. Each story represents a critical shift in AI accessibility, capability, and industry dynamics. Let's break down what actually happened and why it should matter to you. Story 1. Grok 4 breaks down the paywall. XAI just made a move that could reshape the competitive AI landscape. Grok 4 is now completely free for all users worldwide. Previously locked behind paid subscriptions, Grok 4 now offers the same core capabilities regardless of account tier. But here's the kicker. The update also introduces a long press image to video feature allowing users to transform still images into short video clips directly within the platform. This isn't just about removing barriers. It's about adding compelling new functionality that could drive user engagement. XAI is making a strategic bet here. By eliminating the paywall, they're prioritizing adoption and engagement over immediate revenue. The theory? Get millions of users hooked on free Grok 4, then convert them to paying customers when premium features and enhanced capabilities launch. This move puts direct pressure on OpenAI's ChatGPT+, Anthropic's Claude Pro, and Google's Gemini Advanced. When a competitive AI model becomes completely free, it forces the entire market to reconsider their pricing strategies. There's important context. Earlier Grok versions faced significant issues with problematic outputs and content moderation failures. With Grok 4, XAI appears to have addressed these concerns while maintaining the model's characteristic personality and capabilities. Story 2. Versal's Bold App Creation Promise Versal just unveiled v0.app, and it's making an audacious claim. Complete applications, front-end, back-end, and logic, generated directly from a single text prompt. Using what they call agentic intelligence, v0.app can autonomously iterate on projects refine code, and resolve errors without manual intervention. The system integrates web search for design inspiration, implements dynamic UI generation, and supports responsive layouts out of the box. But here's where it gets really interesting. Backend generation includes API scaffolding, authentication, and database integration. We're talking about a full stack solution that promises to go from idea to deployed application in minutes, not weeks. The built-in error handling means the AI doesn't just build, it debugs automatically. This addresses one of the biggest pain points in AI-assisted development, fixing the inevitable bugs and integration issues. This positions Versal to compete directly with emerging AI coding tools, like Cursor and Lovable, but with a crucial difference. They're focusing on complete product assembly rather than just code generation. Early access is open now, with enterprise features planned for later this year. If V0 delivers on its promises, it could democratize app development in ways we haven't seen before. Non-developers could potentially build sophisticated applications, while experienced developers could prototype and iterate at unprecedented speed. Quick pause here. If you're finding value in this AI news breakdown, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Now, let's continue with Google's strategic move into on-device AI. Story 3. Google's on-device AI push Google introduced Gemma 3270M, a highly compact open-source AI model optimized specifically for on-device processing. Built to run efficiently on smartphones and browsers, this model consumes minimal battery while maintaining superior performance for its size. Despite its small footprint, Gemma 3270M outperforms similar lightweight models in both processing speed and accuracy. 
This makes it particularly well suited for applications where low latency and privacy are critical. Personal assistance, translation tools, and real-time text analysis, all without reliance on cloud services. The privacy implications are significant. By running locally, it reduces privacy risks, enhances responsiveness, and gives users greater control over their data. No more sending sensitive information to remote servers for AI processing. Developers can integrate Gemma 3 seamlessly into mobile apps, IoT devices, and browser extensions without heavy infrastructure investment. Its open licensing ensures wide accessibility, supporting innovation across industries. This move strengthens Google's position in the race toward personalized, secure, and offline-capable AI. As privacy concerns grow and edge computing becomes more important, on-device AI could become the preferred approach for many applications. Story 4. Claude's Massive Context. Expansion Anthropic expanded Claude Sonate 4's context window to an unprecedented 1 million tokens, enabling it to process entire code bases or thousands of pages of content in a single pass. This makes it one of the most capable models on the market for large-scale document analysis, research synthesis, and code understanding. However, the expanded window comes with higher pricing for longer prompts and is available only to customers with high API spend. This creates a clear tier of premium enterprise functionality. By allowing developers and enterprises to work with massive datasets without breaking context, Claude Sonet 4's upgrade could improve accuracy in complex workflows dramatically. Legal teams could review entire case histories, data scientists could process extensive logs without chunking, and researchers could analyze comprehensive document sets. Anthropic says the feature builds on its architecture's efficiency to keep performance stable despite the massive input size. This isn't just about cramming more tokens in. It's about maintaining quality and coherence across enormous contexts. The move strengthens Claude's position in the enterprise AI market, especially against rivals like OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo and Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro, both of which have also made large context strides. Story 5, GPT-5's Speed versus Thinking Modes. OpenAI rolled out three new usage modes for GPT-5, Auto, Fast, and Thinking, giving users unprecedented control over how the model balances speed and reasoning depth. Auto mode intelligently selects the best setting for each query. Fast mode prioritizes low latency for quick responses, and Thinking mode dedicates more computation to multi-step, complex reasoning. Here's the resource allocation breakdown. API users can access up to 200 reasoning juice units per task, plus subscribers are capped at 64, and free tier users have lower limits. This tiered system reflects OpenAI's push toward more granular pricing and capability control. This flexible system allows developers and individuals to tailor GPT-5's behavior for specific applications, from rapid information retrieval to in-depth research and analysis. Early feedback from developers highlights improvements in efficiency and task completion rates, particularly when switching between modes for hybrid workloads. The update reflects OpenAI's broader push toward adaptive AI systems capable of modulating computational effort dynamically. Rather than one-size-fits-all responses, users can now optimize for their specific needs and time constraints. Story 6. Behind-the-scenes industry drama. Two stories emerged this week that reveal the intense competition and personal rivalries shaping the AI industry. First, the Musk-Altman feud went public in spectacular fashion. What began as Elon Musk threatening to sue Apple over alleged App Store bias quickly escalated into a public spat with OpenAI CEO Sam Altman on X. The exchange featured pointed accusations, sarcastic remarks like skill issue, and even playful interjections from Grok, Musk's AI chatbot. What might have been a standard tech policy disagreement devolved into Silicon Valley soap opera, attracting attention from industry insiders and the public alike. This highlights how personal rivalries in the AI sector increasingly spill into social media theatrics, influencing brand perception and community debates. Second, Microsoft is aggressively recruiting top AI researchers from Meta, offering multi-million dollar bonuses and lucrative packages to entice them to jump ship. This mirrors Meta's own previous tactics during earlier talent wars. 
The move underscores the fierce competition for scarce AI expertise as companies race to secure the talent needed for advanced model development and deployment. Insiders suggest Microsoft is strategically targeting specialists in foundational models and infrastructure optimization to bolster Azure AI and Copilot offerings. These talent raids could strain relations between tech giants while intensifying the battle for AI dominance. In an industry where individual researchers can impact entire product directions, acquiring top talent becomes a strategic imperative. Story 7. NASA's AI Doctor Breakthrough NASA, in partnership with Google, developed the Crew Medical Officer Digital Assistant, an AI system designed to support astronauts during deep space missions where real-time communication with Earth is impossible. Powered by Google Cloud's Vertex AI, the assistant achieved an 88% diagnostic accuracy rate in initial trials, outperforming earlier automated medical tools. This represents a significant step toward autonomous medical care in extreme environments. The implications extend beyond space exploration. If AI can provide reliable medical assistance in the isolation of deep space, similar systems could serve remote locations on Earth, disaster zones, or areas with limited healthcare access. Analysis, what this week means for AI's future. Looking at these seven stories together, several critical trends emerge that will define AI's next phase. We're seeing a fundamental shift toward accessibility and democratization. Grok 4, Going Free, and V0.app promising no-code development represent efforts to lower barriers and expand AI adoption beyond technical users. The industry is simultaneously pushing toward more granular control and specialization. GPT-5's three modes, Claude's massive context windows, and Gemma 3's on-device focus show AI systems becoming more tailored to specific use cases rather than general purpose tools. Enterprise and specialized applications are accelerating rapidly. From NASA's medical AI to Claude's enterprise-focused massive context, we're seeing AI move into mission-critical applications that demand reliability and performance. The competition for talent and market position is intensifying dramatically. The public feuds, aggressive recruiting, and strategic pricing moves reveal an industry where every advantage matters and competition is increasingly personal. Most importantly, we're witnessing the maturation of AI from experimental technology to practical infrastructure. These aren't prototype demonstrations. They're production-ready systems that will impact millions of users immediately. That's your comprehensive AI news roundup for this week. From free grok to million token contexts, from app generation to space medicine, the pace of AI development continues accelerating with no signs of slowing. Which story impacts you most? Are you excited about trying Grok 4 for free, interested in building apps with v0.app, or concerned about the implications of AI talent wars? The developments this week affect developers, businesses, and everyday users in different ways. If you want to stay ahead of the AI curve without getting lost in the hype, subscribe to bitbiased.ai. We analyze the developments that actually matter, separating substance from marketing. The AI revolution isn't just accelerating. It's becoming the foundation of how we work, create, and solve problems. Hit that notification bell because next week we're diving deep into hands-on testing of these new tools and what they mean for your specific use cases. The future of AI is happening now, and understanding these changes isn't optional anymore.